What is up friends, we have arrived at the end of another season once again with the last couple episodes coming up here and with how wildly creative the entire season has been, I have no idea what they have in store but I have a feeling it's going to be great and as entertaining as the rest of the season has been and if they are good episodes it really is probably going to be in like my top three seasons, maybe even higher, I'd have to think about all of them a little bit more but it's been so great that this far into the show they are still firing on all cylinders coming up with great ideas great acting across the board as they've always had throughout the seasons but looking forward to these next couple here hopefully you all enjoy watching along with me for them if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up and you can check out the full length reactions on my patreon link for that in the description below but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into episode 9 That cricket. Now he's committing crimes. How much farther can he fall? Come back here! <laughs> Takes out the lady instead. What kind of chase is this? How's that guy not keeping up? It's an animal. Where did he learn how to do that? You want my time? You got to pay to spray. No, no, Matt. It's me. Dad? It's time to come home, son. <laughs> Whoa, man. The most unexpected family member to pop up. Is this finally going to be the episode where he turns his life around a little bit? Is this whole episode going to be focused on him? Because I don't think we've ever had an episode focused on a side character. I want you to learn the business. You're dying. I, I figured you look like hell. Has anyone claimed your organs? I'm not dying, you idiot. I'm retiring. <laughs> Close enough, they look so different next to each other. Certainly don't look like my son. Matthew Mara, you remember him? Give the job a shot. <laughs> I was wondering who he was talking about, but I forget that we only know him as Cricket. My friends have a very nice setup for me to take a shower in here. Oh, here we go. Fact, what are we going to see? I'm the gal who makes men's lives better. Oh, you guys mind if I shower on that leaky urinal again? What? Bro, that's genius. I never expected more context to a previous scene. What a reveal. This is so cool. <laughs> time to come home, son. Maybe it's time to make a change. <laughs> What a great frame. Dude looks so bad. I'm excited to see what other additional context we might get for other scenes. All right, uh, this is the loading dock where we uh, ship our supplies from. And right here, <laughs> this is you. Whoa! What are you doing? <laughs> Man is just used to that being his home. And I recognize this outfit. Is this why Cricket had started to look a little bit better? I commented on that. This is bull. Calm down, baby. He's a homeless junkie, Dad. I don't even understand why we're doing this. At least I didn't wet the bed till I was in high school. <laughs> oh, man, I love meeting his whole family. This is fantastic. So much anger. Meeting coming up. And I'm going to tell them my boys are taking over the business. I got my eye on you, loser. And you stink like piss, by the way. Freaking bullcrap. <laughs> Oh man, everybody in his life insults him. No wonder he gravitates towards the gang. He's the one who stinks, by the way. His shoes smell like rotten eggs. You smell his shoes? Yeah. Kicks at me if he catches me sleeping at work. He treats me like too. What? Don't tell me there's gonna be a love story here for Cricket. Necklace my mother gave me that I'm currently guilt wearing. Matthew. It's nice to meet you, Matthew. Hey, date! I'm sorry, what? I haven't done this in a long time. Uh, would you like to go on a date with me sometime? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, let's go, my guy Cricket moving up in the world. What a boss, biggest win he's had in the show. Hey boss, you go by Cricket? I do. Phone's for you, line two. Man, they do such a great job on his makeup for the show. I don't know how much I've commented on it, but it looks excellent. Cricket! Me. Magician never reveals his tricks. Yeah, we tricks. Did put that pet tracking device in him. <laughs> Wait, you did what? Did you put a chip in me? <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. I love seeing all these past scenes worked into this episode. We'll give you five bucks. Yeah, yeah? five dollars, Cricket. The answer is no. All right, fine. Three dollars. Well, you don't go down in negotiation. Well, Cricket, you do. <laughs> Oh, this is fantastic. Their creativity knows no bounds. Money, Cricket! Actually, do have a date. 
Ah, oh, well, okay. don't make up a story. I mean, yeah. you know, we don't care what you're doing with the money. <laughs> oh, no, here comes trouble. I can't believe they don't believe him. I wouldn't either if I hadn't seen it. When do we get paid? Paychecks come at the end of the month. I am so on to you. You're going to be high by the end of the night. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> this guy's great. Definitely feels like a member of that family. Just finish the guy off and then come do the job for us, all right? What's it going to be? We need a decision, Craig, yeah. Oh, we ready. <laughs> Here we go. I freaking loved this performance from him. Stuff it down with some brown. Good job, fellas. I <laughs> loved how you ruined that, Dad. It's kind of fun being on the other end of it sometimes. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. They must have been planning this episode out through the whole season or before all the others were written. By the way, my name is not Cricket. My name is Matthew Mara. I am going to be running a company soon. Cricks, I love you, but this is You're so <laughs> Oh my gosh, talking to a brick wall here. They're not listening at all. Promise I'm not stalking you. My dad will be so worried about me, but I just had to get out of the house. I got an overbearing dad too. My life's the worst. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so awkward not making the best impression. So funny. Okay. And cute. Did someone put you up to this? No, why? Look, I'm not funny and I'm sure not cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I was thinking. It is always sunny, so I'm always worried there's a scheme going on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Go behind some dumpster and bang? I was kind of talking about that date. Ah, oh, I'm into that. <laughs> Shows how strong Cricket is as a side character to carry an episode, though. Hey yo, Dancing with the Stars could never. This man's light on his feet. The freaking music's killing me. <laughs> oh my gosh, laying down in his box. Definitely one of the more unique dates you could get in Philadelphia, so he's got that going. I met the most amazing girl. Let's go in this meeting, show this guy that he is making the right choice, investing in the Mara Brothers! You missed it, asshole. Huh? The meeting. We lost the account. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? Everything was looking so good for him. Is that why she was going on a date with him? <laughs> this man has been hiding his talent. I love this soundtrack from Sunny when it's just super chaotic. Did you just do a flip off that truck? That is how dedicated I am to keeping your business. I made my decision. It's final. Guess I'm gonna have to cut your heart out then. What did you just say? Cut your heart out of your body. <laughs> Here we go. Now he's playing hardball. Maybe this is what they needed in that company. He'll do it. That's great. What changed your mind? Sunny here made a compelling argument. <laughs> well, let's see. He's my boy. <laughs> didn't specify what argument it was. Cricket is born for the business world. I'm running away. I was wondering if he might want to come away with me. I can't. I mean, this is my life now. I understand. Bro, that's insane. For 11 seasons, Cricket would have said no to that, or would have said yes. Here. No, I want you to keep it. Something to remember me by. Well, here's something to remember me by. Oh man, fairy tale ending. Maybe she really is just a regular girl and there's no scheme. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Making out with my dog. Dog? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the heck, bro? Are you kidding me? He was imagining it the whole time. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna smoke it. <laughs> I'm cricket. I'm <laughs> Dude, this is one of the greatest twists and reveals in the show. Now the caller makes sense. He's gone. Way to go, rickety cricket. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so brilliant. Their writing is impeccable. Come work with me. Or you go back on the street and crawl back into that manure pile I found you in. Hey, oh! oh <laughs> Oh 
my gosh, freaking brilliant, dude. This is such a geniusly written episode. How it worked into all the other episodes, so good. Now when eventually I go back and watch those moments again, there's gonna be so much more meaning to them. Crazy, dude, that season 12 has these kinds of episodes, though. They are never running out of steam. And credit to the actor for Cricket as well. He killed it, and he carried an entire episode of Sunny pretty much by himself. I'm surprised this episode wasn't the season finale because it feels like such a good cap to all the other episodes considering we went back, revisited certain moments, and added more context to specific scenes. And overall, it was just a hilarious and creative episode with some great twists and reveals and featuring one of the best side characters of the show as well. But I'm certain that the way they wrote Belle's character in this episode was intentional knowing how much we expect schemes to be working with other characters in the show by this point and so my mind didn't even go anywhere near her being a dog of all things or just another person. I was locked into the idea that she was running a scheme maybe from that rival company but I cannot wait to see the season finale. I'm not really going in with any expectations because I'm already 100% satisfied with this season so I'm just gonna have some fun with it but hopefully you all enjoyed watching along with me for this episode and I look forward to seeing you for the next one and until then peace.